let me take you somewhere strange. You wake up on a spaceship. You're floating in the middle of the Milky Way. Stars around you, silence everywhere. And 90% of this galaxy, still uncharted. Scary. Here's the twist. You're not in space. You're home on Earth. And that 90%, it's our oceans. We map more of Mars than we have of our own seafloor. We've sent machines beyond Neptune, picked up whispers from galaxies billions of years old, and even recorded the echo of the Big Bang. Yet the world beneath our oceans, still mostly invisible. Over 80% of the ocean remains a complete mystery. We don't know its shape, its depth, its life. We can predict the death of a star, but not the behavior of a current just 2,000 meters deep. We dream of colonizing Mars, yet we've barely set foot in our own abyss. Isn't that strange? We treat the deep sea like fiction, but it's real, right beyond the shore. The Mariana Trench, so deep it would swallow Mount Everest whole. There are mountain ranges underwater, taller than anything we've seen on land. There are lakes beneath the sea, and rivers that flow without ever seeing the sky. Entire ecosystems thrive in complete darkness, feeding off energy that doesn't even come from the sun. In 1997, something was heard. A sound, a low, massive rumble from the deep. They called it the bloop. No whale, no quake. No machine matched it. It came once and vanished like something ancient, just stirred. And maybe that's the real mystery. We look to the stars hoping for first contact. But what if something older and closer is already here, watching us from the dark? Maybe we don't fear the ocean because it's unknown. Maybe we fear it because it knows us. So next time someone says, we're close to unlocking the universe, just smile and say, we haven't even unlocked the earth.